Hi guys, I'm Mark, and today we'll be going over how to get a fishing license in the beautiful state of Florida. There are lots of questions on the internet about who needs a fishing license, whether you need one when you're hopping on a charter boat, and what are some of the exceptions. So I'll try to address some of these questions, so hopefully you spend less time looking for answers and more time fishing. Luckily, getting the right type of fishing license in Florida is super easy. And since you can fish without a license on a charter boat, or even on a licensed pier, Florida is probably one of the easiest states to plan a fishing trip in. Since Florida offers such a wide variety of fishing packages, it's important to know which one is right for you. The two main types of licenses are saltwater and freshwater licenses. Just some words of advice, if you'll be fishing in brackish water or anywhere where you might be targeting a mixture of both freshwater and saltwater species, I recommend getting both types of licenses. The last thing you wanna do is hook a fish that you're not covered to catch and get a fine because of that. The good news for visitors coming to Florida is that all saltwater fishing charters cover licenses for everyone on board, so you don't have to worry about purchasing one on your own. However, if you choose to fish with a guide in freshwater, you will need to purchase your own license. You can fish for most species with a regular saltwater or freshwater fishing license. However, there are some species that require additional tags. These include snook, tarpon, and spiny lobster. Also be aware of seasonality for certain species such as red snapper and federal waters. These rules can change year to year, so just be sure to stay up to date with any local regulations and you should be good. Long story short, all non-residents over 16 and any resident aged between 16 and 65 will need to purchase a fishing license before heading out. This is very important to know. Anyone involved in any type of fishing activities needs to purchase a fishing license. For example, if you're helping your friend uh, by baiting their hooks or setting up any of their gear, you will also need to purchase a fishing license. Again, as mentioned earlier, if you're hopping on a saltwater charter, you will not need to buy a fishing license. You don't need a license to fish from a licensed pier in Florida as well. Florida residents with severe disabilities can fish for free with a Florida resident disabled person hunting and fishing license. Military personnel from Florida can fish for free if they're visiting home for up to a month. Florida residents receiving benefits or food stamps from the government can do land-based saltwater fishing without a license. Any Florida resident can get a free shoreline fishing license, which allows you to fish for saltwater species from land or from structures that are attached to land. If you are 65 and over and are from out of state, you will still need a regular salt or freshwater fishing license. However, senior Florida residents can fish for free, but must bring proof of age and address. Anyone who is eligible to fish without a license should make sure to bring proof that they are qualified to do so in order to show to the Coast Guard. For instance, children under 16 should bring proof of age with them at all times. If you're caught fishing without a license and you're eligible for one, you will have to pay the cost of the license plus an additional fine. The penalty starts usually at $50, so make sure all your paperwork is in order before you head out on the water. The easiest way to purchase your Florida fishing license is online and you can do so at GoFloridaOutdoors.com or by visiting the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's main website. You can also buy it over the phone. Just call the toll-free number 888-FISH-FLORIDA uh, or 888-347-4356. They're available at all registered retailers such as Walmart, tax collector's offices, and registered bait and tackle shops across the state. Annual fishing licenses in Florida are valid for 12 months from the date that they are issued. The expiration date will be printed on the license itself. Once it expires, you can renew your fishing license at any official retailer. If your fishing license is lost or stolen, you can purchase a replacement for only $2. For the most part, your license is, uh, is usually only valid in Florida, but there are some interstate waters that border with Georgia where you can fish with your Florida fishing license. These are St. Mary's River and Lake Seminole. Now that you have all the information you need, you can finally get out there and test out the waters of the Sunshine State. For more information, be sure to check out our full blog article that goes into more detail about how to get a Florida fishing license. Tight lines.